Hi, what's up, guys? And uh, this is your Brain Shades Mask channel. And today I'm going to do about life process in living organisms. Okay, now we'll see the life process. Okay, now there are eight life processes happening in the organisms, and they are first require energy, then respiration, then excretion, then respond stimuli, which we can say as sensitivity, movement, control the internal conditions, reproduction, and then growth and development. Okay, now we'll see them in detail. Okay, first we'll see about recurrent nutrition. Now, nutrition is needed for energy and growth. Both plants and animals need food. Now, to live in, to live and do, and do our work in our world, we need nutrition. Our body requires nutrition. So, getting nutrition is called recurrent nutrition. And and plants are able to make their own mm, nutrition uh, i mean the food but uh, photosynthesis but humans uh, can make it uh, plants make it by the process called photosynthesis and and they use um, sunlight <coughs> to turn simple molecules like carbohydrate and water into complex food as mm, carbohydrate molecules like mm, to make like the food and animals are unable to make their own food so rely on other plants and other animals for, and for their nutrition it means like killing each other and eating and uh, these other nutrition notes it means uh, how they are eating uh, how they are taking that and uh, plants nutrition is called like autotroph nutrition they do it but by photosynthesis process and uh, and humans they are many types of nutrition how they eat it and next is respiration and respiration is a chemical reaction reaction that happens in all living cells including all organisms it is the way that energy is released from gl glucose so that all the other chemical processes needed for life can happen but breathing is different there is a main difference between respiration and breathing breathing is just inhaling and exhaling taking air inside and putting air outside of our, our lungs and and this is the equation for respiration <coughs> when we take glucose and oxygen it will give us carbon dioxide and water uh, in this process, the 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 thing they are saying chemical reaction uh, is happening and the nutrition is being formed to us. And next is excretion. Excretion is the process in which metabolic waste is eliminated from an an organism. It means excretion is like uh, putting all the waste in our body out the waste products. And um, in in vertebrates, example uh, for human, this is a uh, this is primarily called out called out by the lungs, kidneys, and the skin. And in this, the the lungs we exhale carbon dioxide, which is a waste product for us. And in kidneys, uh, urea a substance in urine, and then in in the skin as sweat. And uh, and and in this which you can see the human is of sweat so uh, putting sweat out is also a form of excretion and thing is respond to a stimuli and in the living things are able to sense their surrounding for example a, a living thing can a living thing can respond uh, respond to change of sound heat or, or light it is sensitivity when some touches you, you feel it right so that means uh, you are responding to stimuli and uh, and animals um, respond quickly to stimuli such as heat light sound touch and chemical which we taste and smell as like our five senses but in the other hand plants uh, plants show their uh, 
respond to stimuli as like example like tropism and, and phototropism and etc see plants respond to light by moving the leaf moving, moving their leaves towards it the the flower of some the flower of, of some plants open in the morning and, and close at night uh, so uh, that is a process of phototropism and uh, and some plant like uh, we fly trip responds to to touch very rapidly and then uh, this is a, a picture of the Venus flight trap how uh, when a fly goes inside that plant it it, it close its trap then uh, next is control their internal conditions uh, the the main thing for that is homeostasis which refers to the body's ability to maintain a, a stable internal environment like uh, regulating hormones body temperature water balance and etc uh, <coughs> the water intake and water uh, that is passing out of the body must be equal to have a, a, a healthy a healthy life and then maintaining homeostasis requires uh, that the body continues to maintain its its internal conditions and and uh, and homeostasis is uh, is the regulation of conditions in body such as temperature water content and carbon dioxide levels and and they must be equal inside and outside the body it means the external uh, external environment and the internal environment and then the movement okay and in the moment, both animals and plants have the ability to move. Plants are rooted and move slowly as they grow. Example like phototropism. And and their roots and geotropism also. Uh, uh, their roots move, move down into the soil and their stems move up towards the light. Animals on the other hand move quickly and can and can move their entire body like this a uh, human can do many like um like movement we can see in our own eyes but uh, but in plant movement uh, it must move like geotropic and uh, positive geotropic and negative geotropic and like for tropism and uh, tropism factors and then uh, next is reproduction reproduction is the production of offsprings it means like the babies and, and then uh, and the, uh, uh, there are two forms of uh, reproduction the uh, sexual and asexual reproduction and then uh, in uh, in sexual reproduction a uh, organism combines the genetic information from each of its parents and it and is a genetically unique and then in asexual reproduction one parent copies itself to form a genetic identical offspring grow and growth and develop okay first first we have to understand those terms very simply growth means an increase in size and mass of a particular organism over a period of time it means increasing our size and our body mass and development is defined as a process where in particular organism transforms itself from a lone cell into a more complicated multicellular organism it means like Development of our cell, our our bodies, and everything in our uh, organ in in our organism. Uh, it is like uh, being in a being in a small baby into a adult guy. Okay, thank you for watching my video, guys. Please like, uh, uh, share, and subscribe my channel. And 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 goodbye. This is brain studies. Mushroom. Bye. Have fun. Thank you.